Hello everybody, my name is Anatoly and today we're watching Futurama when aliens attack. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Wasn't born yet. Pizza delivery! So this is a real TV station, huh? Well, it's a Fox affiliate. Oh, this is what before. Are you right now? Single female it's lawyer. It's the season finale. I prefer programs of the genre world's blankiest blank. She is wearing the world's Same. shortiest skirt. I'm in. This is before Fry uh, had his little accident. This one seems to be before he went to the future with the uh, hot one-eyed creatures. Counselor, I remind you that it's unethical to sleep with your client. You should sleep with me. Your Honor, <laughs> it's bad enough to proposition a single female lawyer in court, but this is a unisex bathroom. Counselor. <gasps> At least he's frank. At least he's completely honest. I. Could you repeat that? <laughs> well, that's oh gonna cost God. you some money. You knock fucks off the air. So what? Like anyone on Earth cares. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a mad graining thing to rip on Fox, because I definitely remember the same trend in The Simpsons for a couple of episodes. Wait, Fry's beer is the reason he sent a message into space. Omicron, Percy! They predicted Omicron, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, I need to read that again. I think I missed something. 1,000 light years away, 1,000 years later. Could you repeat that last part? This is an outrage! I demand to know what happened to the plucky lawyer! It makes sense, because it's on Fox. We now bring you eight animated shows in a row. <laughs> <laughs> we now bring you a marathon of Tucker Carlson for seven days. The New New York. What in the name of Bob Marley's ghost? <laughs> Ooh. Quite hey, aggressive. Quit it, Hermes. It's Quite Labor aggressive, Day. Hermes. Let that phony baloney holiday crammed down our throats by fat cat union gangsters? Damn, a day off! Nice. This one certainly reminds me of the writer's protest in Hollywood. Let's be honest, that's quite a nice way to justify a quick and sudden vacation for yourself. Oh yeah! Freddy Freddy! Fry, you're wasting your life sitting in front of that TV. But this is HD TV. It's got better resolution than the real world. Everyone's too polite to say anything, but you're covered with bed sores. Just get in the car. The vacation of the future. Quite nice beaches. I I would assume this is the East Coast, not the West one. Okay, is this how uh, globalization looks like? And the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I didn't know they were both in New York. New Yorkers elected a supervillain governor. He stole most of the world's monuments. Truly nice. a great man. This is definitely the British Museum tactic. First we steal and then we claim ownership. Hell yeah! Just just butter. Aha! Uh. <laughs> uh -huh. Found you. Now you go high. Nice. Nice knowing you. Ah. Oh! That really must suck. I'm going for a scuttle. <laughs> I don't know, but it's the, those little gags that get me in Futurama. And I hate Family Guy for that. What a bastard am I. Just like my dad used to make. Until McDonald's fired him. Bite my red hot glowing ass. Wait a minute. Is Bender really Mexican? Or Turkish? Or Romanian? I am genuinely confused right now. He's the globalized robot of the year 3000. Red hot glowing ass? Ow, 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 ow. Oh, yeah. Does it really help? Mm. Well, what kind of sensor does he have? No, no, no. <laughs> This is certainly not PG product, right? Uh, well, I think there's one can left. Oh my. There. How do I look? Like a cheap French harlot. French? <laughs> the Avenged Sevenfold song? I'm very sorry. The last time I've heard the word harlot, it was in an uh, Avenged Sevenfold song. It is quite interesting that the future still preserves such a term. <laughs> Who the hell is this? Barney asshole. I'd make time with a real man. I'm not attracted to bullies, no matter how big and uh, handsome they are. <laughs> yeah, hey, go yeah. Ahead. I got a lot of work to do here. You don't understand. I'm a professional beach bully. I pretend to steal your girl. I go down, she swoons, you slip me 50 bucks. 50 bucks? You take her. Fry. He, yeah, 50 bucks oh. is a little bit too much. Let's be honest here. You can go to Russia and hire yourself half a year worth of prostitutes for that price. Probably Putin himself is going to suck your dick for that price. You never miss on such an opportunity. Well, I suppose we could go for a walk on the beach. Ma'am, I'm actually gay. <sighs> Very nice. H how nutritional is that? And uh, a crab trap. 
Of course. I'll never survive in here. I'm too pretty. And I'll bust you out. <laughs> What, what, wasn't that supposed to be wood? How the hell does it bend like that? We should get a picture before the tide comes in. Anyone have a camera? Right here, buddy. That's actually pretty decent. Wait, I want to be in the picture too. <laughs> Pretend you're happy. Yo. So it's a 180 degree uh, picture, right? Holy shit, I thought um, Fukushima was... Never mind. So those are the pissed off aliens that got the, their uh, box canceled? Even a man. No! <sighs> Even a mini spaceship to fuck people up. We're all gonna die, aren't we? Last time aliens invaded, all they did was force the most intelligent of us to pair off and mate continuously. <laughs> Once again, today's winning lotto number was four. Destruction What's with that robotic face of hers? Emergency address by Earth President McNeil. Ladies McNeil. and gentlemen, our course is clear. The time has come to knuckle under. McNeil, isn't this guy from The Simpsons? He reminds me a lot of Troy McClure from The Simpsons. Give our alien masters whatever they want. People of Earth, I am Lur of God, the they're jacked. Tron Percy I-8. We want the one you call McNeil. Or we will lay waste to your cities with our anti-monument laser. That sounds like a McDonald's order. Perish than kowtow to outrageous alien demands for this McNeil. Am I right? Did the microphones not evolve in the future? Fresh from his bloody triumph over the pacifists of the Gandhi Nebula. Gandhi Nebula. Ran again. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> of course. It's that idiotic windbag you slept with. Can't we just forget about that? No, I don't think we can, Lila. That was quite embarrassing. You have a certain fetish for muscular guys, and that's understandable, because I do too. God damn it, whenever I see... The big show. Evidently not. But if there's an alien out there I can't kill, I haven't met him and killed him yet. That's why I'm ordering every available ship to report for duty. Well, you heard the windbag. Everyone into the ship. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm a conscientious objector. You know, a coward. Since this is <laughs> conscientious all objector. Will now have their patriotism circuits activated. It is every robot's duty to give his life for the good of humanity. Thank you, future society. That's a very useful tool, actually. Some of you are white, some of you are black. You're brown. <laughs> You're silver. But I don't care. <laughs> I don't know why, but that did crack me up. Some of you are black, some of you are white. You are brown. He meant the color of the soul, ladies and gentlemen. We are not racist on this channel. The only race we like is Formula One, goddammit. Pan or Chinese? You're all going to have to learn to die together. Uh, Am I right, soldier? Sir! Yes, sir! Sir! Sir, yes, sir! Destroy all aliens. Not me, sir. Oh, yes, right. Unless you have to. The luscious Captain Leela. Very sexy struggle for the future of the human race. But I'm not technically human. Right, right. The key to victory is discipline. You will practice until you can make your bed in your sleep. You mean while I'm sleeping in it? You won't have time for- Is this supposed to be a Full Metal Jacket reference? Because those two scenes, it kind of seems like the progression that we had in the Kubrick's movie. And also the way Bender uttered, sir, yes, sir. Sleeping soldier. Now, with all the bed-making you'll be doing, the alien mothership is in orbit here. The rest of the dominoes will fall like a house of cards. Checkmate. Now, like all great plans, my strategy is so simple... That sounded so lame. Devised it. Wouldn't it make more sense to send the robots in first and... <laughs> Sir, I volunteer for a suicide mission! <laughs> now Bender is Japanese. Also, let's briefly acknowledge the fact that those skirts look kick-ass. You know, I never really understood one thing. There are basically two types of people. Those who possess balls and those who do not possess balls. How did we evolution-wise reach the conclusion that those who have balls, they have to wear shorts, they have to wear pants, they have to wear all of those tight things around their balls, whilst those people that don't possess balls, they get to wear skirts? Where's the logic there? You're a brave robot, son. But when I'm in command, every mission's a suicide mission. Which reminds me, perhaps before we head into battle, you'd yeah, like to make gun. love to me. Maybe we should wait till afterwards, in case neither of us comes back. What kind of future Roman salute was that one? I kind of liked it. I'm gonna be a science fiction hero, just like Captain Janeway or Xena. Or decapitated. Uh, this isn't TV. Or missing it's a limb. Life. I just like TV better. Same. Same try. Because you really get to be heroic in such situations on TV. And they spilled my cocktail. That's a nice martini. Robotini or something. 
Is this supposed to be the destruction of the Death Star scene from the Star Wars? I have never seen the franchise, but I know the reference. But it'll never bring back my martini. Well, who wants a martini? I was right on my assumption. Good work, everyone. Mother's ship is destroyed. I think this one's the, the Death Star. Thing? It appears to be the mother ship. Then what did we just blow up? The kid the ship? The Hubble telescope. <laughs> God damn it, if that one is a telescope, they can take a look into the asshole of God with that one. Stop exploding, you cowards! Vladimir Putin when he doesn't have orcs left. Great decision. You'll be the alcoholic, foul-mouthed God, you're alive! I mean, thank God you're alive. Check back in three days, a week at the most. Three days. The people of Earth remain united in my refusal to hand over myself. You know, I'm, I'm on the side of Zab Brannigan on this one. That that might as well be the wisest decision that he has ever made. Except for, you know, smashing a cyclop. Here he is. Come and get him. <laughs> Is that supposed to be the you queen? You are not McNeil. You are not the one we want. Oh, thank you, glorious masters. I... Ah! That was McNeil. No, McNeil. Is it gonna be a McDonald's meal? I've made this assumption before and now I think we're we're onto something. A single female lawyer. She wears miniskirts and is promiscuous. <gasps> That sounds familiar. Yeah, that was the reference from the beginning. Neil, female, struggling to succeed in a human male's world. Maybe that's just her excuse for being incompetent. Silence! Uh, Except no more Zap, I, I do agree with you on this one. Let's put it this way. Futurama has predicted a lot of trends. Because, of course, it is created by Matt Groening, and that guy is a level 6 wizard. This is the McNeil. I know her. You do not, you big fat liar. All you do is watch TV. She was a character on a TV show back in the 20th century. Single female lawyer. We will raise your planet's temperature by one million degrees a day for five days. Unless we see McNeil. Does it really make sense past the second day? Well, yeah, never mind. There'll be no forced mating at all. I think we need an alien exorcist for Professor right here. How could they even know about a show from a thousand years ago? Omicron Percy I-8 is about a thousand light years away. You see, magic... Ah, God, God, now it makes sense. I'm not very good at the astrology. Back in 1999, female lawyer was interrupted by technical problems. Some idiot spilled coke on the transmitter. Beer. Uh, they must just want to see that episode. Most videotapes from that era were damaged in 2443 during the second coming of Jesus. You know, I saw the first... 2443. I think I'll write that down, ladies and gentlemen. But the guy's literally found anchovies from a millennium ago, so this should not be such a difficult task, I, I think. I saw the first 30 seconds of that episode. Maybe we could act it out ourselves. I have an old 5 megawatt broadcasting tower in the attic. I could be an acting coach! Okay, Leela. You'll be starring as Jenny, who... Uh-uh. I'm camera shy. You don't really have the thighs for a miniskirt. Give me the script. That was fast. But I agree with the fact that her thighs are not made for skirts. They are certainly made for suffocating people. Probably animals as well. <laughs> Places, everyone. Lights. Uh, Camera one. Which one's the lazy one? Camera two. <laughs> Camera three. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine getting your robotic camera three circumcised. Futurama has some of those spicy jokes, but they are purely implicit. And I love it. Single female lawyer fighting for her client, being self-reliant. Hey, I'm pretty good. You are. You are, Bender. Uh, naked affair with the foreman. How do you plead? Your Honor, the three I inputs. that I'm also having a hot, naked affair with the foreman of this jury. If McNeil wishes to be taken seriously, why does she not simply tear the judge's head off? Women are from Omicron Percy I-7. Men are from Omicron Percy I-9. <laughs> Your witness, Prosecutor Ramirez. I like how even the aliens in Futurama, they have their own specific mythos. Your witness, Prosecutor Ramirez. Gracias. Single female lawyer. Where Ramirez? were you on the night of August 23rd? Sleeping with you. Aha! <laughs> Getting back to the uh, uh, that matter. Is, uh, I've watched worse right. porn than this. There's nothing else here. Two pages of dialogue. It took an hour to write. I thought it would take an hour to read. Just say anything. Compelling and mesmerizing. 
What say you, single female lawyer? I'm giving up the law. And I'm giving up being single. Will you marry me? <gasps> dun, dun, dun. We'll be back after this word from Crazy Bender's Discount Stereo. This feels like one of those porn videos that the script is so entertaining that for a second you forget all about the pussies, the dicks, the dogs, the... It's clever, it's unexpected. But that's not why people watch TV. Unexpected things make them feel scared. Your unexpected marriage plan scares us. You stole our hearts as a single female lawyer, and so shall you remain. They want to see the same thing they've seen a thousand times before. What you talking about, Fry? Trust Maybe this is a dig at The Simpsons, you know, with the 50,000 seasons. They want to see the original product that they got initially presented, not some radical deviation. While other people were out living their lives, I wasted mine watching TV. I knew it might one day help me save the world. They're very accurate, yes. That's why I do YouTube. And action. I'm afraid I must decline your offer of marriage. I'm dying. Cough, then fall over dead. <laughs> My God, he's dead. I will now make my closing statement. I hereby return to my single female lawyer career. We find a defendant, vulnerable yet spunky. Hooray! Single female lawyer, having lots of sex. Huh? Imagine being a horny alien, wanting to see some hot, oily female lawyer earthling tits, but then you get this lame ending. I would destroy humanity, annihilate every single motherfucker that has put this one together. We are reasonably satisfied with the events we have seen. Overall, Never I would mind. rate it a C plus. Not great. We will not destroy your planet. Alien critics. But neither will we provide you with our recipe for immortality. We must return to our planet to catch the end of a thousand-year-old Leno monologue. Leno monologue. Catch his chin, maybe. <laughs> the clown and the nun. Hugging. If a nun and a clown are hugging, there is no more war in this world of ours. It was just a matter of knowing the secret of all TV shows. Everything's always right back to normal. Great episode, ladies and gentlemen. I really enjoy coming back to Futurama and doing those reactions a little bit more often. If we have a nice audience response on this one, I might as well just uh, continue the trend with Futurama. It really feels like a nicely refreshed version of The Simpsons, and that's why I like it. But that was it for today. Thank you for watching. This would mean like, subscribe, comment, all the usual stuff. Screw you guys. Am I going here?